Hello you guys, my name is Miguel Gomez, fellow X-ray tech student here bringing you some knowledge this time over the floral exams, how, to, how we prep for our patients because it's our job is to have everything almost ready for when either the RPA or the radiologist comes in. They just, as soon as they come in, they might just cover some brief things and then they get right to it to perform an exam. So, so depending on the type of floral exam you're doing the and also your site you're at, there'll be various things you'll have to do. And also the doctor, the RPA, certain stuff, it'll be more individually based, like how they like their things ordered or how they like their things positioned or do they want to do AP first and then lateral, stuff like that. But in general aspect. Usually the patient will come, before they even come in, for certain exams they have to be NPO, which is nothing by mouth, for usually 8 to 24 hours. For certain exams you have to have no blood thinners, and you have to make sure that the patient hasn't had this exam done before, or you have to get the reasoning why they're getting it done, you have to know basic, um, if any surgeries were done to that particular part, if they had any complications, if they're allergic to certain contrasts. Usually you do that over the phone. You'll be talking with them and let them know about that. If they have to be fasting or if they have to be on, like, for, for like enemas, they have to, you know, get everything out. So you can see everything while doing that. No liquids, basic stuff like that. And then once the patient actually comes to the department, usually... Us as our as uh, Radtex, we'll get everything ready. We'll go pick up either the contrast, set up the table, get everything documented online, get the paperwork we need, also get the medication. Usually, you have to go to pharmacy to pick up that, or if that's locked up in a certain place in your department, you have to go get that also. And certain procedures, it'll be stale. I mean, s sterile. And you'll have to be, you know, you have to use the aseptic technique to be able to open everything, set it up on the table. And also, once the patient comes in, you know, usually you'll have them switch into a gown, you know, depending on what your exam you're doing. You'll have them either fully without clothes or just top or just bottom with the gown, opens in the back. So when the patient comes in, usually we're just trying to get, once again, some brief history trying to make sure the things we told them over phone, they actually did it because certain things, if they didn't do it, it can cause complications and sometimes even severely and they could even die. Like for instance, blood thinners, if they usually, I think it's one to two weeks they have to be without blood thinners. And let's say you tell the patient, oh, have you used any blood thinners? And they're like, oh yes, I used some a few days ago. Then you'd be like, well, because of this, because of the exam, the complications, We'll have to reschedule you and we can't do it and most of the time the patient gets mad or some of them are understanding but you know it's safety for them and to keep us safe too and then usually once the patients fully change they, they'll sit them down and then us as x-ray techs we have to tell them okay have you gotten this exam done before they're like, okay, have you had any surgeries have you had anything going on why are you doing this what's your pain you know what helps you and then you'll be telling them okay so for this procedure we'll have to like I'll just give you an example we'll be like okay we'll have you lay down on your back and we'll have you drink some barium and then we'll have you roll over to the side to coat your stomach and we'll tell you when to sip the barium and then the RPA or the doc radiologist will either be telling you to turn to hold your breath, to drink some more, to swallow saliva, turn on your back, you know, move, and then depending on what he sees, he'll he'll like either make you drink more barium or he'll make you like stop the procedure because like we got what we needed. You have to get the basic rundown of what to expect for the exam and then ask if like they have any questions, if they have any concerns. And then the doctor, RPA, will come. And once again, 
they'll like kind of briefly explain what's going on. They expect us to tell them everything, but they will kind of briefly explain what's going on. And then they'll do the exam. And then once the exam's done, usually either the RPA, the radiologist or us will be responsible to tell them post care to either like, okay, follow up with your doctor or like make sure, especially for like gastrographin or barium since it does like affect your body it, it can you have to drink a lot of fluids because sometimes it can constipate you and to get the get the gastrographin or barium out of your body that's one thing and then also like for certain like for an arthrogram or for hip injections or something like that like usually you have to take it light and easy. And for certain exams, you have to have, make sure that the patient has someone to take them back because it does, certain exams, depending on what they are, does make it difficulty for the patient to drive. And certain exams, you'll have to request for the patient to be bed rest between six to up to 24 hours, depending. Usually those are for like injections type stuff. And usually, once again, if the patient has any questions, we are responsible for answering them and also typing up the notes. That's another thing we usually do, which on the video I posted before this, I explained all that and hope this helps.